excited are you about the prospect of going off to Japan for a World Cup? Yeah, over the moon really. Um, it's something I've always dreamed of as a kid and um, it's nice to get the opportunity to actually go out there and go back to Japan where all my international career started from. And you're going on a high, having Captain Wales for the first time this weekend? Yeah, well, obviously it was a nice occasion, but disappointed that we, we didn't get the win. But obviously we go back out there this weekend and uh, hopefully we, we can uh, return the favour. You mentioned about winning your first cap out in Japan. That must seem a long, long time ago to you. Yeah, it was 2013, so it was quite a while ago. But um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely place and the people are, are, are very friendly. And it would be nice to actually go and visit and go back out there for a, for a bit longer than we were last time. Your international career um, has been a bit of a slow burner in terms of numbers of, of seasons. Do you think now you're at a stage where you're a more important, more integral part of this squad than, than you have been ever before? Um, yeah, well, obviously I had a, a big gap between my first and uh, second cap, um, but since then it's come uh, thick and fast, which has been nice, and I've just been taking it game by game, really, and not thinking too far ahead. So it's, it's nice to actually get announced in the World Cup squad and obviously go out there and uh, enjoy it. And how much did the Six Nations do for your own self-belief and what you can achieve? Um, yes, yeah, well, it's massive. Obviously, winning a Grand Slam is it doesn't c come too often, and to actually be a part of it um, is something special. And hopefully, we can uh, get some more silverware. But um, it's just I'm looking forward to actually just getting out there and uh, starting the World Cup now. Do you think for Wales to win this tournament, you need to step it up a level from the level you got to in a Grand Slam? Yeah, um, World Cups are, is the main stage in it, so um, everything has to go up a gear, and um, we just keep striving to keep pushing the team forward and um, do uh, to the best of our capability, really. So hopefully, we can uh, just go up the gears now and. Uh, get ready for the start against Georgia. And a lot of people are saying this is a very open tournament, a lot of teams could win it. Can you go along with that? Yeah, well, if you lose one game, you're fighting a losing battle then. But um, you just got to take it game by game and just focus on the ne that game and then move on to the next then and then just get through the stages then. Where do you see the other, other challenges coming from? The traditional powers in the south or do you think the north may have more of a say this time? Um, I think it's a bit of a mixture. Um, it, as you said, it, I think it's, it's, it's going to be an open World Cup, so anyone can t grasp it, really. And what's the one thing you think you're going to need in terms of your personal game to, to make sure you're, you're, you're on the ball and give your best at a World Cup? <laughs> Just make sure my body's right, really. <laughs> Just make sure it's firing on all cylinders, and uh, I think it'll be all right then. Is it bearing up at the moment? You've had a few injuries. Yeah, well, a touch wood. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've been plodding along nicely, uh, obviously coming back from my elbow, um, which has taken a while, but it's nice to actually get back out on the field and uh, feeling fit again. Good man. Thank you very much. Cheers.